I've had no water or food for two and a half days. So here's the worst part. The worst part is I haven't showered either or washed my hands. As far as I can think, I didn't intend to start this off as a dry fast or a hard dry fast either, but when I realized that I hadn't remembered to drink any water for a long, long time, I don't even know when the last time I had water was. It could have been three, day, three or more out, days ago. Uh-oh, I'm not speaking properly. No, I always talk like this. I actually am more clear. Things are more clear and vivid for me. I've done water fasts before and I don't, I didn't, I don't think I did them right. I mean, I remember, I don't know. I, I think those videos are on this channel. I ended up drinking coconut water in between or something and coconut water has probably a lot of sugar in it so that wasn't probably even real but this time what i did this is the bad part i think when you do something like this you should probably eat a day or a week ideally of healthy foods so that you're starting um on with good things in your body, with a good structure in your body. But I was finishing off some cookies and chocolate that a friend had sent to me for Christmas and it showed up really late. And I had, I was just anticipating this parcel for since Christmas. And it's, I don't know, a couple weeks later. And, and yeah, so I, I said, after that, I'm going to do a fast. A water fast and I don't have pictures or anything I did pull out the scale though and measure my weight and stuff man this is it's all sporadic I'm sorry that I'm not doing this in any order but we will tackle all the issues I guess uh, I guess in someone I'll, I'll come back to whatever I was talking about before and uh, since we're on scale I uh, weighed myself I was I think it was after I, I started, but in the, I, I don't know. I don't really, I don't really think when you start these fasts that they count at the starting point, but I guess maybe they do. When I wasn't going to count it, I was going to wait a full day of digestion before I say, okay, I woke up. Now this is day one, but um, I'm back to, it's easier for me to remember that I, I ate the chocolate and the cookies at 11 a.m. And then I got preoccupied and didn't drink any water or eat any food for the rest of the day. And I said, oh, I am, I'm starting now. And I, and I think the next day is when I weighed myself and I was 171, I think is what I weighed which is pretty low for me. I think I've always been 170, 175 as far back as I can remember. And which I think is a lot. I think that's pretty heavy because I'm a, I'm a thin guy. I mean, I'm six foot and I'm pretty thin, but some people think I'm, I look okay. I mean, uh, yeah, well, we won't talk about I'm doing, I'm going to do a body image, a male body image video. That's not why I'm doing this. That's why I didn't take any before pictures or after pictures. That might have to do with me being embarrassed by how I look, which has never been a thing before, but I just, I lost that whole, uh, show off, uh, narcissistic thing that I used to have back to the weight Jeez, Jason get off get off get off a tangent so I think the last time I weighed myself it was 68 and I, I've been losing weight without even using 
the bathroom or anything, which is really odd, I guess. Water, you're sweating. But I think, yeah, now I'm down to 168. Probably the lowest I've ever weighed, but I've never weighed myself. There have been times that I uh, had been doing hardcore hot yoga and not eating any sugar. And I remember those times I was really, really thin, but I didn't weigh myself, so I don't know how much I was. But I also had lots of, uh, I had definitely had more muscle then, maybe. I don't know, maybe I didn't. Maybe I was just really thin. My nose is running. I have to get a... That's weird. That's, it's easier, it was easier for me to do a dry fast than it was to do a water fast. And, oh wow, so many, so many things I have to, okay, I'm going to, I think after the, I'm going to do, I don't know, I'm going to see how long I feel okay, and then I'm going to transition into a water fast, and that's probably the best thing to do. You probably shouldn't start eating solid foods and everything. And I had a plan about what I was going to eat after this. There are so many movies uh, food movies and dietitian rules and all these things and the different scientists and different health professionals saying that you can't eat this and you can't eat that. I've been watching a lot of that. I don't know how to break the fast. I don't know what I'm going to eat. And I guess I do. I guess I came up with a solution. The only thing that's left that people are, are green vegetables. And I mean, I do talk about green drinks all the time. Those are my favorite pure green drinks made with like spinach and cucumber and lemon, not no sugar or anything. So I, I it, beans, I think, I think a lot of the, the people who are big on fasting right now, the biggest uh, voices in fasting, they say, first of all, nobody's suggesting doing a dry fast. A lot of information saying when you do a dry fast, you speed up all of the healing properties. That's why I'm doing this. It's by the way, it's not uh, for me to get, I'm not doing it as an anorexic thin thing. I do want to reset some, um, I do want to reset my cells. Like, uh, I, I have, I think I have cellula cellulite and stuff that I have always had. So it, maybe it would cure that. Maybe it's going to cure the imperfections that like growths. I don't know. I think I might have warts or something maybe and, uh, scars. And I think I do see, um, the scars and stuff that I've had shrinking, I've read where people, like all of that, all of the scars go away, and that's really cool. I want to see if that happens. And all of this stuff is supposed to speed, it happens with a fast, but you can fast with water for up to, I don't know, for up to, see this is the thing, nobody really knows for sure. Three months, I think you can, it depends on your fat storage, right? I not really very overweight. I don't have a lot of fat, so I'm not going to go too far. And the, even the befores and afters of what I've seen, most of the time people do these month fasts and they don't look any different to me. A lot of them think, say that they do and everything. I have to say, after the first day, I walked by the mirror and you might know this, if you ever don't eat anything for a long period of time, your, st your, your stomach gets really flat. And a lot of, uh, what, a lot of what has to do with your, your feeling uncomfortable with your belly and everything has to do with what's in your digestive system. <sighs> so many tangents that I've went on that I've lost so many things in behind. I don't know what I'm going to eat. Okay. Beans are out. Things that you can cook. However, I did see a raw foodist soak dry chickpeas and dry lentils in a jar with water and they grew and expanded and they ate them after that. So I always think what is humans natural eating state? What, what would they be eating if they lived in the woods? 
and I don't know, I see there are so many, and people, and oh, I used to think that it was, it was just me, you're a caveman, you're hunting, and I think we did that, but then the meats are so polluted right now, even the organic ones, and it's mean to animals, and I don't know about the balance of how the environmental effects it, and the water it takes to make an animal and the water it takes to make a plant and that debate I don't know if I believe it I think that there's more to um, cycles on the planet than what we can measure what humans can truly measure it's the same paper plastic debate there's so many tiny little elements and things that we might not consider and think about so I'd, I'm not doing it really for that purpose I'm not a big em empathetic person and I also think when humans were scavengers and were eating plants that they were eating bugs and I think they were getting a lot of protein from that and I'm not about to go and eat bugs or am I or should I they're not readily available I have to do this in in a budget and that's why that's another concern of mine i would love to get the best organic produce and make sure that the water that i have available is the purest water because i'm resetting my whole body for when i re-nourish it so this is my biggest problem is what am i going to eat i think i just i solved it because meat is out dairy's out Oh, dairy, the, the the documentaries on how bad dairy is right now is horrible. Uh, there are so many documentaries on the good fats from meat uh, that have, I've, I've seen tests, I saw experiments in these documentaries where these people, I guess the main part is they were cutting out the garbage. They weren't eating potato chips and soft drinks and refined sugar and refined salt. And I think all of that stuff is bad. And how am I going to get enough calories? Maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe I don't want enough calories. Maybe I just want to... Maybe green foods are so, so nourishing. Also, there's the whole thing. Food is not as nourishing. Even organic food, it's not as nourishing as it used to be back when we were scavengers. So we have to account for it with supplementation. And I've always been against supplementation. I mean, you see people live for... On, you see people live for a hundred years on really bad diets, smoking, and so I don't think that we really have to worry about, I think supplementation, I think all pharmaceutical is a huge scam and that we can get everything we need from foods. I'm not a doctor. I guess you're supposed to say that at the beginning of this. I think it's quite obvious that I'm not very educated i guess i am i have been reading and watching about all of this stuff for a good, since the 90s i've been uh, and i grew i grew up deprived of sugar i wasn't allowed there wasn't that in my house so i do come from a good standpoint as um healthy as my mother did force food upon me or what was available to me. I did fight it in my, you know, rebellious teens. And when I made my own money, I bought lots of bad things, not even in my teens. But I soon realized what was important to me when I was, yeah, in my 20s, I went really hardcore into health food and it only got escalated more and more and more. And I can't believe I keep talking about this stuff, I guess I'm passionate about it. Um, we'll have to see how I feel. I feel great when I walk by the sink is the only time I go, oh, I should pour a glass of water. I just think, <laughs> mouth isn't dry. My lips are dry, kind of. They're not, when I forget to drink water, sometimes my lips will chap. They feel weird. Everything feels weird, obviously, but I can 
there's no like major eating away I can pinch fat on me and stuff it's still it's still all there I have a um, flatter belly because there's nothing in my intestines I lost 68, 69, 71, 73 pounds, which is a lot, I guess. I mean, after bowel movements and only one of those. I Did I say I haven't showered? That's the, that's the worst part of all of this. I need to shower. I, I, I guess I won't tell you why I need to shower. Maybe one day I'll get into that. I probably have in another video, but I always want to stay clean. And uh, yeah, because your, your skin will absorb the water. So they tell you when you're doing a dry fast, not to even like wash your hands. And I'm not sure if I wash my, sometimes I don't think about it. I'm going to give myself that wash my hands. I do would like to go for another walk. I did go for one. Yeah, I think that was during the fast. Yeah, it was. I'd like to go for another one because it feels good with the fresh air on me, but I, I saw that it was so cold outside today that I didn't go. Anyway, this video has been way too long. And I wanted you to know that I'm all right. Besides... I don't, can't do anything with my hair. This lighting is bad. But I didn't shave, but I'm, I'm feeling good. I'm going to break it with water, and I guess then I'm going to have to figure out some kind of vegetables. I'm going to buy whatever green vegetables are on sale, and that's what I'm going to eat when I break the fast. Won't have sugar that people say bad things about fruit sugar. Uh, legumes and beans are bad too. I guess I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna eat. I'm not gonna make meals either. I don't. I, I haven't had to do that recently. I'm just gonna eat cucumbers and celery. And they're gonna taste really good, especially after not eating for a long time. Just plain cucumbers and celery. That might sound horrible to you people. It may be spinach. But I don't know what's left. Oils, oils are bad now. Nuts aren't bad now, but um, some diets say that you can eat too much nuts. I'm really, I'm really not good at restriction too. If I, if I can't have just a little bit of peanut butter, my plan is every day I'm going to go to the grocery store and I'm going to get fresh. I don't really have a refrigerator that I use either. So I'm going to go and get fresh food each day. I live close. There's a grocery store across the street. So I guess that's what I'm going to do. I'll buy whatever produce is on sale. Maybe I'll venture into apples. Apples are delicious and really inexpensive. And I could totally live off apples and bananas. And there's fruititarians that do this but I'm just saw all kinds of videos on how unhealthy fruititarians are because of the sugar. Isn't that crazy? That even the delicious fruits, you can't trust what the FDA says. You can't trust what the government puts out because they're all sponsored by the bad producing food companies. It's, we're in a horrible place right now. I do know that green vegetables are left. They're good. <laughs> Broccoli. Maybe I'll eat carrots. Carrots have sugar in them. But I think there's other things in sugar that I've heard that are okay. So maybe, maybe carrots and celery sticks. <sighs> carrots are so sweet when, when I am being really restricted and not having any sugar. I've had carrots and they're like the sweetest, most delicious things. I've been wanting, I've been trying to end this video for a long time. It's 20 minutes. I'm going to stop talking now. I love you. Like, comment, share, and subscribe.
if you I know you all want to see body shots but I don't know you might have to go over to my OnlyFans for that